This worked great, though some credit has to go to Subaru for great design. Mine was installed on a new Ascent. 100% compatible, even if not listed. The harness was plugged into the socket provided by the manufacturer, and a nearby screw served as the grounding point. Since the Ascent has such a nice, hidden receiver, I decided to fish the wire through the body. There are a couple of holes already there with weather seals on them. I picked one, and feed the wires through. This required me to cut the wire, splice and add shrink tubing, but was totally worth it. I then mounted it next to the receiver, and away I went. The installation on a 2015 Outback is pretty easy with a few tips. First off, once you remove the bottom panels from your cargo compartment, also remove the left front tie-down loop. It is right behind the left rear seat position. Pull the plastic piece in the middle of the ring to open, then remove the bolt with a 10mm socket. Once you do that, if you look through that hole up and to the left you'll see the white connector plug. That is what you need to pull down in order to plug the connector in. Removing the tie down makes it much easier to locate and remove since there are two loops of blue tape holding that connector wire up behind the trim. After that, it's just a matter of attaching the ground screw and locating the adapter box wherever you feel it would be out of the way. Solid construction and easy installation, once I found the connector plug on my 2017 Subaru Outback. Works great. Very quick install. We installed this differently than posted on e-trailer. The ground wire was bolted to the existing hole that's used for the metal plate behind the trim. The module and the fuse was set inside the styrofoam so that if we needed to change the fuse or troubleshoot, we could do so without having to remove the trim. Don't follow the instructions for running the cable out the back tailgate when you can pass it through existing holes. I had to cut and re-splice the wires but it looks much better. I made the splice inside the truck so it would not be exposed to the outside elements. Very simple to install. The hardest thing was getting the plastic clips out that hold the foam in place under the cargo mat. Otherwise it's just plug in the connector and run the wires to where you want them. You do have to ground it, but there is an easy to access bolt that you can use for the ground that is located right by the connector you need to use. Would have been nice to have an extra couple of inches of wire on the short side that connects to the car, but it was long enough to tuck it away behind the side panel. Extremely easy to install. The 2019 Crosstrek has a dedicated connector to plug this converter into. No splicing into wires, and no tapping into tail lights. It does require a ground screw, which I drilled, 3 30 seconds of an inch, and screwed into a non-exterior metal surface under the main plastic panel in the lower opening of the trunk. I chose to roll up the wires into the spare tire compartment when not in use. The electrical installation is less than 5 minutes worth of work but plan to take some time to safely remove the trim and panels.